So back to the electronics. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, a, a Pelican case and I found sort of a mess inside but uh, I used the Pelican case and then I, I found these rubber grommets. Uh, let's see if you can see one more easily. Um, let's see. There you go. So you can see there get out of the sun a rubber grommet that that I just use those to kind of neaten up the wiring coming in and out of the case and also try to make it as as watertight as possible um, although uh, what's ended up happening is is that the the heat generated by uh, this motor controller this is a Robo Wars motor controller the Australian um, BattleBot company makes it and um, it generates enough heat that uh, I think ultimately I'm going to need to install a fan. Right now what I do is underway I actually leave the cake, the case cracked open, um, you know, a little bit. And then if it rains or anything I can still lock it down, but if this, if you're running at full throttle it gets uh, pretty warm. Um, so these are the main power wires coming in and they go into this motor driver board and then these this each pair of these is going to the starboard and the port engine or, or motor I should say and then branching off uh, from this main power it feeds uh, use these uh, great uh, these are called the European style um, I don't know why but uh, these little uh, these little wire terminals from Radio Shack uh, so they're really easy to get because they're just uh, from there and uh, they're a really convenient way of, of doing connections. Um, so that's sort of how I've tied most of this stuff together. There are two, um, I have two separate, these, these small boards here and this piece here. Um, this one is the Castle Creations um, BEC, these are from RC Airplanes. Both of these are generally used in remote control airplanes and similar. Uh, and they're called battery eliminator circuits and, and really what they are is a DC to DC step down uh, power converter. So I have 12 volts coming in here which feeds directly to the motor driver. But then these two are both providing uh, 6 volt power. Um, uh, no, I'm sorry. One of these, this one's set to um, five volts, and it is powering the Arduino, which is buried under here. And then this one is providing, I think, six, actually, maybe 7.2 volts. This power uh, is going onto the servo power bus, and I'll show you the servos in a little bit. Um, the other thing I have in here is this. Um, solid state relay which is kind of overkill I just happen to have it around it's a uh, DC to DC but what it, this is allowing me to do is switch power on and off to the servos so this it's switching the 12 volt power that's feeding the servo power supply and why the reason I'm doing that is from the Arduino I actually want to be able to turn these servos off these are digital servos that I'm using and they are really chattery. I'll turn them on so you can hear uh, in a minute. But uh, basically, as kind of a hack, once I built it all, and as when I'm cruising, it's annoying because I like just the quiet and the sound of the water. So I uh, added that piece in so that I could shut the power off to them, and then they fire back up as soon as I actually want to turn the motors. There's enough friction mechanically for for these motors that. Uh, they uh, will hold, they'll mostly hold uh, their course, less so in reverse. Um, and just to look a little bit more closely, what I have here is a uh, an Arduino, and I use the, in this case, the SparkFun um, sort of prototype shield so that I could solder on um, a group of headers for these um, servos. 